He was the guy that always sparked everything in the building. He had good grades, he had great personality, behavior was awesome. Then his abilities on the field was ridiculous. Now that was high school football coach at St. Francis Academy remembering Lamar Patterson. The star football player was killed on his way to school when a light rail train smashed into his car. Just yesterday, we learned a light rail operator named Tavon Smith is now charged in Patterson's death. WJZ is live. Alex Glaze talked to some of the people who knew Patterson best to get their reaction to the new charges. Alex. Clarity is the word that was used a lot today by people who knew Lamar Patterson best. And the hope is that these charges provide some clarity to Lamar's mother and can bring her some semblance of peace. It's hard to describe. I mean, it's still, you kind of are surprised, still, still in shock a little bit. Almost one year ago, Lamar Patterson, a star football player at St. Francis Academy, was killed on his way to school. It's definitely been tough. Uh, it's definitely been kind of uh, like an eye opener. Like, nothing's promised. Life is a promise. Patterson was killed last February when the car he was driving was hit by a light rail train in Linthicum. On Wednesday, Tavon Smith, an MTA light rail operator, was charged in Patterson's death. Charging documents obtained by WJZ show that Smith is charged with negligent manslaughter, criminally negligent manslaughter, and reckless endangerment. It's not about avenging Lamar's death, but it's giving clarity to, for Lamar to know that it wasn't his fault because at the beginning, the narrative was Lamar broke the rule or the law. He went around the gate. And all that wasn't fact. Initially, police believe Lamar's failure to obey traffic control devices caused the crash. But investigators reviewed footage that showed the light rail train entered the intersection while the roadway gates were in the process of lowering, meaning the road was not completely blocked at the time of the crash. It's not going to bring him back, but just to know that his mom has clarity. Just to know that she has an understanding that it's some, someone's getting justice served for it. Um, this is the only thing I can ask for. This is what, what I'm happy about, that she has, she has clarity. And Blake Woodby told me that he still texts Lamar's phone number to this day. He just misses his friend that much. Now, St. Francis is planning to hold a vigil on February 2nd. That is the one-year anniversary of Lamar's death. And that vigil is being planned to be held at Patterson Park. I'm Alex Glaze reporting for WJZ.